In this video, we are going to continue with equations that can be reduced to quadratic equation or to quadratic form. You will find this on page 13 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Now, if you look at this one, now the first thing is take that root out and make it an index, okay, or an exponent. Now, remember what I said to you. You can see already that if you take a half, no, the color is not good. If you take a half and you times it with two, or you, you add a half, you get one. And do you see that that exponent is one? So this one is double that one. Okay, this one is double, double that one is this one. That's better said. And again, I showed you both methods, but I, I think I want to get you used in this video because it's the second one to just go in for the second method. But if you still struggle, you can go for this method. So again, I factorize and then, and I'm, I'm focusing on this one now. So it's in group B. So it's two and one and it's five and two. Let's see. It subtracts, so 5 minus 2 is that 1, excellent. And the biggest over cross product, that one, will get a positive and this one a negative. Okay, and then this is x to a half, x to a half, and then basically, um, yes, I want to show you. So I just say x a half and this x a half. So this is equal, you see? There, there, this is equal zero. And then don't forget your rules of, of exponents, indices from ordinary level. If you want to get rid of the half, you multiply two over one. Whatever you do on one side, you do on the other side. And the same there, and there is your two answers. Okay, so again, because of the roots, if I see roots, I check the original. So if I substitute, this is a solution, but if I substitute it in this one, it's not the solution. So if you see a root in the equation, remember to test the solutions. Okay. I want you to stop the video. Now I will let you start very basic with A. Then I want to show you what to do if you come to D. And then just bring in another one. Um, okay. I, 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 I want to just mention this one to you. I don't want to do it really for you. Uh, can you see that this one, th okay, this one is double that. That one double is this one. This one double is this one. But I want you to do F because sometimes, uh, especially because there's a number, then, then people get confused with that. So do F. That's the free I want you to do. Again, I want you to stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Otherwise, I don't think you're going to understand your mistakes or it will go to your long-term memory. Let's start. Number eight. So this is x minus 9 square root x plus 14 and that's equal to 0. Now take it out of the root. So x equals, not equals, minus 9 x to a half plus 14 equals 0. And now again, this is 1. So double that 1 will be 1. Excellent. Now, again, I see it in group. You see positive. So now I will just say, okay, 7 times 2. We can try 7 times 2 and 1 and 1. Because 7 plus 2, because it's positive, it's 9. Signs are the same. Negative, negative. And then go directly. And as I said, just always put that middle one there. And that middle one there. And now I can just continue. And I can say, x to a half minus 7, x to a half minus 2, and that's 0. So this one is equal 0, or that one is equal 0. So a half is equal to 7, or x to a half is equal to 2. And then I multiply 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2. And then I will get x is equal to 49 or x is equal to 4. And I have to check. Let's make it in red. Check. In the original one. What is your original one? It's x minus 9 square root x plus
plus 14 and it must be 0. So if I say x minus 9 square root 49 plus 14, let's see if I get 0. So x minus 9, that is times 7, plus 14. Oh, I forgot to put in this x. Let's put it in. It's like now it's too many, too many numbers. Okay, so what do I say? 49 equals 0. So if I'm going to simplify that, I'm going to say um, this is going to be 49 minus 63 plus 14 equals 0. So 63 minus so 0 equals 0. So therefore, x equals 49 is a solution. Okay. And then the next one, if I check, now I'm going to just clean. So I'm going to go on to the next one. And I'm going to say, okay, check. And I check in the original. So x minus 9 square root x plus 14 equals 0. And I put 4 minus 9, 4 plus 14 equals 0. So 4 minus uh, 9 times 2 is 18 plus 14 equals 0. So 0 equals 0. So therefore, x equals 4 is a solution. Okay, and now I'm moving on and I just want to find out. So therefore, and I want to go and read, therefore, x equals 49 and x equals 4 is, or say r. I think that will be better. Or solutions. Okay, and that's your final. That was number A. Let's go for D. Okay. If we go for D, let's write it down. And the reason I gave it is because sometimes you, you if it's in a fraction, then you make unnecessary mistakes. It's an equation. So get rid of fractions by mul multiplying with the LCM. And what will be the LCM? It will be square root x. So if I put over 1, over 1. So I multiply square root x over 1, square root x over 1, um, square root x over 1. So basically, if I do that, I'm going to get my answer of, remember square root x times it's just x, so it's 3x plus 5, uh, oh, I forgot, um, let's just see, that this is, can, no, it's correct, 5 square root x, okay, let's just see, um, um, plus 5, I just, oh, no, 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 I see, it's just plus 5, because that cancel, do you see, and then, minus 16 square root x and that will be equal to 0. So let's just rearrange it. So I have 3x minus and now I'm going to take it out plus 5 and that's equal to 0. Okay and now I'm going to factorize. So uh, again it's in group A do you see and I think my factors will be I don't want to take another color 3 and 1, and maybe, because it must, 5 and 1, because 15 plus 1 will give me that 16. Signs are the same, minus, minus, and that's x to a half, x to a half. And if I'm going to simplify that, it's 3x to a half minus 1, and x to a half minus 5, and that's equal to zero. And now, can you see I'm doing it directly? Because I just take that middle one. So it's 3x to a half is equal to 1, or x to a half is equal to 5. Or, and now, first divide 3. Divide 3. So it's x to a half equals a third. And, uh, okay, I'm going to do it now here. Times 2, um, okay, just another color. 2 over 1 times 2 over 1, because it cancelled then. So then, I just want to get to the yellow first, times 2, 
Too many lines. Two over one. Okay. So then this x is going to be uh, it's going to be one times one, it's one over nine. Three times three is nine. Or this x is going to be 25. And you have to check. So if you check, just move it up a little bit. And let's just do that checking. And always in the original one. So it's going to be 3 square root x plus 5 over square root x minus 16 and it's 0. So it's 3 square root 1 over 9 plus 5 over square root 1 over 9 minus 16 equals 0. Okay, so this is going to be 3 and that will be a third uh, plus 5 and that's also a third minus 16 equals 0. Move it up a little bit. So this will cancel out. So that will be 1 plus, don't forget, you multiply the reciprocal. So you multiply with 3 over 1. So that's, that's going to be 5 times 3. It's 15 minus that 16. So 16 equals 16. So, oh, no, <laughs> no, no, that's incorrect set there. Okay, the, the method, it's, it's just 16 minus 16. So 0 equals 0. So therefore, um, x equals 1 over 9 is a solution. And then I do it again. Okay, let's do it again. And then I'm going to say the original one, 3 square root x plus 5 over square root x minus 16 equals 0. So it's 3 square root 25 plus 5 over square root 25 minus 16 equals 0. So that's 3 times 5, which is 15. That's 5 divided by 5, 1, minus 16 equals 0. So that's 16 minus 16 equals 0. So 0 equals 0. So therefore, x equals 25 is a solution. So, I can end by saying, therefore, both x equals 1 over 9 and x equals 25 are solutions. Okay, let's do the final one. It's really not, and, and practice it, because... It's just part of this level of mathematics that you're going to, to get see the quadratic form and then factorize it. Okay, let's do number F. I'm just going to move it a little bit down. Okay, number F. Now, I gave you this one, and the reason why I gave you this one, because sometimes you struggle a little bit to see, and then maybe I think I must do the other method in this one, because sometimes you struggle a little bit with this kind. Uh, it's too many numbers. And I think, so sometimes it's good to go back to, to method one. Because now I'm going to say, late, and let's not say, let um, 3 to the power of x equals k. Yeah, let's keep it k. So then I'm going to say 3 k squared minus 28 k plus 9 equals 0. Can you see that? Still in group A, it's positive. So oh, let's just see what can it be. Oh, I think it's going to be, let's just say, 3 and 1. And this is going to be 9 and 1. That's 27 plus 1. It's 28. Signs are the same. Negative, negative. And now K, K. So I'm going to get 3K minus 1. K minus 9 equals 0. So 3K equals 1 or K equals 9. So K you can actually keep first do it like that. And now I'm going to replace it. So let k be back to 3x. And then you're going to say, okay, 
3, now let's keep it together. 3 to the power of x is a third, or 3 to the power of x equals 9. And then I'm just going to say, oh, do you see? Then now it's, it's again ordinary level. Go back if you struggle. Now the x is on top. So I, I bring that one up. I try to get the basis the same. One term equals one term. And this one will be 3 to the power of 2. So therefore, x is equal to negative 1 or x is equal to 2. Now test again. No, I don't have to test in this case because there's no roots. So I can just basically say that both of them are going to be solutions. Okay, because uh, I don't, I don't think. I think if there was roots, you have to test. But in this case, you're going to say, therefore, this is the answer or this is the answer. I don't think it's going to be influenced by roots.